part about learning is nobody can take it away from you. But then what you need to learn is important to understand. And considering this environment of ever-changing technology and ever-changing landscape in software testing industry. So today I have Nishant with me and I'm going to talk to him about a couple of things which everybody want to know. And I want to know personally from your expertise. So my first point, Nishant, is uh, this, like I said, the industry is changing and rapidly evolving towards the technology, towards the methodology. A lot of things are changing. With your expertise and experience, extensive experience, I would say, in this industry, can you identify and elaborate, uh, let's say, significantly four changes that you have seen in software testing industry in recent years? Yes, I think. First of all, thanks for the invite. What I see major changes from the recent years, first is a rise of automation. This day, many people are talking on automation. Second one is a rise of content creators. If right. someone wants to learn anything, they will get a content or resources easily. Yeah. Third one is a early testing. We see left, right, whatever. So I see uh, benefits in early testing. Yeah. And fourth one, what I see is a uh, industry changing towards a backend automation or microservices testing such. Things like that. Why? Because earlier text state was easy, but these days it is complicated. Earlier there was a purpose driven applications, but now applications we have in all the areas. Earlier mm. we never watched the movies online, played the songs, or whatever we wanted to do, we can use do via softwares. Yeah. So that's why backend is huge. We can see whatever in UI, it's just a 10 percentage, but backend is vast. So yeah. There is a definite scope of a backend automation and testing, definitely. Yeah, a very good point. I think I agree with uh, all of your points, but you mentioned about uh, early testing and that change you have seen. I think it's a very good sign for testers and uh, also very good sign for somebody who believe in quality. Uh, yes. Like we are not saying involve your testers early, but we are saying whatever you do, you test early. And that's important. Yes. Uh, and you also mentioned about the rise of automation, the rise of uh, technology, backend is important. So this, everything is changing in unpredictable pace. So to learn about these things, uh, it's again a challenging opportunity for people. But then it is also crucial to stay relevant, to stay effective in this profession. So what are your strategies or recommendation to stay up to date? Because I have seen you created video on Devin and it's very recent. So I have observed that you always touch those points which are recently coming to industry. You are always up to date and you want your audience to be up to date. So what is your recommendation to stay like in forefront of this changing dynamics? See, learning is boring. I believe personally. Why? Because on a weekend, I can go on a Netflix and watch movies. I can go with family and enjoy, do parties and stuff. But on a weekend, learning a programming is challenging stuff. Uh, task right first of all need to do a self-motivation we have to motivate ourselves somehow and then we have a clear roadmap so this is a part of uh, active learning we need to make a clear plan and uh, need to define after five years or after three years or uh, what will be my next role in next company so according to that we have to plan we have to understand, we have to learn new skills and then gain experience because only learning will won't help. Real time problems will be some different. So gain experience as well. And another thing is a passive learning. So what does it mean passive learning? Day to day, we are seeing so many people are facing a problems. My team member also is facing some problems. They are having exceptions. So try to understand what problems they are facing and try to help them. Yeah. Maybe in future, we are going to get the same problem. So that time we will have an idea we have fixed in the past. Wow. Next is, this day so many people are asking on our communities, LinkedIn, social media. We have so many groups. So try to help them. If we are mm. spending 30 minutes on Instagram, instead of that, cut, uh, cut down by 10 minutes and help them. If you don't want to help, just look what problems they are facing and try to understand if in future you will able to solve if you will face the problem. So yeah. like that, you can 
That's very interesting and effective. I think I never heard this term passive learning, but I think it's very important to start from passive learning if you don't want to actively do it. And then you will slowly definitely get to the track of active learning. <laughs> and I like learning is boring. I completely relate to that part. But now, uh, like you said, people are asking a lot of things in communities and social media. I'm sure you have seen this question that people are struggling to understand or maybe they are worried about AI will take over human job. Yeah, it's like, yeah, people are seeing that AI is definitely doing significant amount of work that already people were doing. But for software testing industry, I just want to know with your experience and very much deep understanding of this field, does people need to be worried about it at first level? And second is what should be the adaptation or innovation to face such kind of challenges which people are saying, whether it is a real challenge or if it is not a real challenge, then still how to, you know, peace of mind, how to get that in this environment where everybody is saying job khatre mein hai and AI will do different, you know, difficulties for human job. So what is your thought on that? What I see is on a LinkedIn, whatever people are seeing, that is just a fantasy. The real <laughs> world is whatever we see in a job description. We have to prepare for that, JD, not of what people are saying on social media. That is the first thing. Now, technology is definitely growing, but it is not like that tomorrow AI will come and it will take my job. It will yeah. take a time. Still people are working on a PHP. Still people are working on a QTP. You won't believe that. Wow. And it will take a time. Yeah, it is not like that. Uh, if I wanted to learn AI, I will learn AI in our next day. Even for a small concept like a collection, we are struggling to learn in a six months. Oops, concept still we are not able to clear everything. Yeah. So what I see is uh, instead of worrying about automation or manual stuff, we have to work based on the roles and responsibilities. Hmm. If whatever I'm working, my company is happy, my client is happy, user is happy, then I'm doing a pretty much well. If they are not yeah. happy, then some gap. I need to improve myself. That is first point. Now, manual versus automation or learning a new stuff. So how look at the company perspective, how they are seeing if the company wants to hire someone, they have a manual task and they have automation task. So if one guy will do, for example, let's say five years guy and they, he will charge eight to 12 lakhs, mm. assume. Yeah. So company will get that one person who can do two jobs. But instead of if I say I am I know only manual testing, I know testing craft well, company should hire me. Why company will hire you and pay 8 lakh to you and another guy automation 18 lakh? Instead right. of paying 18 lakhs, company will get one candidate in at 8 to 12 lakhs and they will he will he or she will do two jobs. Correct. So that is one point. So based on the industry growing, based on the tech state, we have to upgrade ourselves. That is a first go. And uh, base is a funda testing fundamental as a we are tester. So we have to work on a testing fundamental that I strongly believe. And another part is a programming because without programming, we cannot solve some challenges. Programming language and testing fundamental is the future of a tester. And if someone has a strong fundamentals, then easily can learn new things if someone knows java then learning selenium is just a 15 days of task i completely agree to that uh, and you mentioned we are testers but i think <laughs> your statement should be we are fun do testers <laughs> that name <laughs> is very well, i i wanted to add one more thing so yeah auto, i'm not seeing automation is selenium or something api testing automation is using a programming support or tool support we are achieving that we are just a uh, uh, replacing human touch, repetitive mm -hmm. task by using some tools like mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, if we feel hungry, then we have to go out and uh, go to a restaurant and they will have food. But now we have Swiggy and Zoom at all. So that is automation. We have solved a problem using a po programming. Right. A similar in testing field also, we have to solve some repetitive task using automation. Yes. That is a what I see, that is automation, not just a tool. So learn one tool and you are automation. They say it is not like that. Right. I, I completely understand and equal this part. If you add efficiency uh, through some innovation is what automation is. That minimizes your effort basically and do job with more efficiency. I agree to this point. Uh, but yeah, I was talking about this fundu tester part. 
and that's uh, definitely it is integral part when you talk about you we do not talk about fundu tester does not happen like this i am sure everybody <laughs> consider you as a uh, fundu tester <clears throat> you are the creator of it and uh, i must say what an intelligent way of conveying the information because a uh, humorous part of it when you do something with humor it takes really effort and intelligent effort i would say and amazingly i mean people are following people are referring your content in their conference talk uh, somebody give you credit some do not but yeah amazing work there uh, nishan so i just wanted to touch on that part as well content creation um, and you mentioned in your first point as well this is what change has uh, you know occurred in the industry so how challenging it is uh, to create content for industry like software testing first of all what is your experience how audience takes it and uh, if somebody want to be a effective and influential content creator like you what people needs to do okay so content creation is a tough task and it's a full time activity it is yeah uh, there is a gap in a uh, content creation why because uh, from 15 or 16 i'm seeing a selenium tutorials on a youtube and those are free but still people are trying to learn what is selenium and they are not able to do so there is some gap what i see why it is because there are full time content creators who create a content and posting tutorials on a social media right but don't have a real experience industry experience so they are lacking somewhere what is going on a real tech world they are not aware of because they are just a full time uh, content creators they are not doing their job uh -huh. another is there are many content creators who are full time working professionals so they don't have time to create much content right okay uh, what i proceed what procedure i follow is for each and every content i make a road map what will be the next video uh, i write a script then i need to film it i work on a audio i work on a video because what i yeah. see what is learning is boring as i said earlier <laughs> yeah so if i am providing a grainy video someone is not able to read a text on uh, screen then it's a waste of time i'm wasting their time and my time as well right. so if someone is posting a content if i or i or someone is posting a 10 minutes video and many people are going to consume that content so i don't have a right to waste their time if someone is coming to my video they should yeah. gain something i should be able to add values to them so as a content creator everyone should understand it is not like a just a money making machine we are adding yeah. value to someone like and we have to make sure that if someone is coming then they should able uh, able to learn something or grasp something that's very important point you touched upon it's a responsibility when you create content you have responsibility to value their time of course you are putting your time but then in return what you are expecting is their time and if you value it i think nothing like that uh, i am impressed with what you said i mean i also create content like this is part of content what we are recording right and i have seen people are creating content but uh, it's really important to understand that it's a responsibility towards your audience and thank you for highlighting that part for me and for everyone who is willing to you know get into this thing of creating content uh thank you so much nishan it was amazing talking to you but still i want before we conclude is there any thought or remark or anything you want to put in front before we uh, close this episode yes so when i was fresher that time one question was stupid to me that was yeah. do you want to see yourself in next 5 years yeah okay. but what i see is if someone is prepared where you where that person wanted to be in next 5 years then they can definitely reach at that level yeah because if Full map. Then only we we have to set the destination. Then only we can reach there. Otherwise, we can go. Right. We can reach. So everyone should have a road map. And uh, what are the job responsibilities based on that? They have to learn and they have to work on that for their fundamentals. So right. what I really recommend everyone to be expert in one area, then move to next. Right. A proper road map where you wanted to see in the next five years or next ten years. What is your next company? 
and what are the values you are going to bring on the table so these things need to understand yeah very good point i think i missed this question but then you covered this part it's very important for people to understand. and how what a clarity of thought you have nishan since beginning you talked about same thing have plan have road map practice things to get expert strengthen your strength focus is important all these things is what you have been always talking about so that's what i call clarity of thought whenever you talk about anything you should not you should always focus on what is fundamental that you have in your mind and that's what you have so thank you so much for being part of this episode and thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us it was great talking to you thank you nishant thank you so much to you for your time as well thank you bye